Hi. Now, a lot of people have problems when they go and import a card that they've bought from Dreaming Tree or SVG Cuts or some other place and it's bigger than what we send in New Zealand. So the whole thing is that it's very easy to make them smaller but when they come in in lots of parts how do you do this? Now one of the things that I will show you is that I'll make my screen smaller here so that it makes it a little bit easier to see things on it. I always import the picture that comes with the card or the project and I put it up and if you look over here on the right hand side under the layers panel you'll see it's got a little icon which says it's way too big to print and cut so if I just go to print on this or um, go to the make it screen it will hold me up and it will give me some nasty message now let's have a look and see what that message is it says project incompatible now it's not supported by your current machine selection to resolve this select ok and adjust affected layers now at first several people went through this and they said but what's wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it they didn't realize that it's outside the print and cut area so if they'd made it smaller it would have just gone to a print and cut and as we make it smaller now it's smaller and you can see that that little icon has gone so now the program actually tells you at what point it becomes too big to be a print and cut and it says print and cut here so you know that that's I know that that's what the problem is now now I do that because when I save this I usually save it in the top left hand corner and I make it so that it's just a small size um, I can make it smaller like that and just pop it over in that corner when I save the image and that way it reminds me of what I'm actually doing and now with the way that you can look at your projects you have this nice little picture in there and saying ah that's right that's the card that I wanted to make now there's lots of images in this now it's easy enough to say we'll group all these together and we'll resize them but of course then the problem is what size are we going to make them and how when you group all the images together are you going to determine that size now you can either determine the size from the envelope itself or you can determine the size by the card now what we're actually going to do is hopefully I've picked on the card no it looks like I've picked on the envelope I shall scroll down here and find the card now I've clicked it on this side and it's going to misbehave on me because I was going to go arrange and bring it forward and it doesn't seem to want to do that so let's just go in here and find which one of these is the card now the, the grey one is definitely the card and once I've got that one selected and go arrange and send to the front we now got the grey card I'm going to put it over the top here but as you can see still there's quite a few things in behind there that are going to poke out from behind the card and we're looking at how we're going to get the right size now if I click on the card you'll find that it's 7.3 inches high now that's interesting 7.3 inches high well that of course is because there's a little dot at the top the reason that um, there's a little dot somewhere around is it's a placement dot to make sure the sizing comes in right now what we want to do here is we want to group this to start with and I'm going to group this and go group and hopefully all that is now one group and if I go over to the side here you'll see everything that's apart from the uh, little picture I've managed to group and that's because I left the picture up there now we need to resize this now we can resize it as a group you can actually attach it but that would make them, mean they'd all go the same colour so we're going to leave it as a group and then I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to say I'm going to get a square because I can alter a square to a rectangle and I'm going to tell my square that I want my square to be 
uh, 4.125 in width and I have to change that Ooh. and 4.125 left off the 4 and made him <laughs> 0.125 and I don't want him 0.125 high I actually want him about 5.5 high um, uh, no, maybe maybe we'll do them. Um, we'll we'll go back here um, because what I'll do here is I'll take my little square, who's now very nicely tucked up there in the corner, and I'm going to un unblock him, and I'm going to go to the size of the back of the card. And you can see that's nearly 5 inches by 7, so it's a 5 by 7 card. So I'm going to take my 5 by 7 card and I'm going to say I will lock that now. And I'll make them 5 by 7, I think it's just a slightly bigger than that. There we go. And um, 6.94 so if I make him 5 by 7 and that's right and we'll make this one 5 so that he fits nicely in there and now I'm going to lock it again now it's locked it will size proportionately so I'm going to say we don't want it 5 we want it in the width in New Zealand we use 4.1 and the reason we use 0.125 is that's um, a sixteenth. Am I right? A sixteenth of an inch. We have eight and a quarter paper. So when you fold eight and a quarter, you get four and an eighth, and an eighth is 0.125 when you're working in inches. So that makes it easy. Now. If I hit enter, it goes to 5.775, which is about 5 and 3 quarters. Now, the easiest way to do this is now click on your background image, which you grouped beforehand, and now we're going to make the back of the card, and we're going to size it to the size that we made it, which was around about... Five by oh well it was five and three quarters wasn't it? Yeah. Now it's about right there. So now I've done that, I've regrouped the whole card. I can take that little bit away and say, well, that's the size that the card was, and well that's the size the, uh, the card I want it to be. And now all I have to do is ungroup these and all these are now sized in relative form to what they want. Now, uh, a lot of the designers are now um, giving us the cards in a form where we can change the scoring lines to our solid scoring lines, and that makes it really great. So I'll show you how to do that as well while we're here. Um, this one has got a scoring line. Let me just take this orange one out from underneath um, just in case you can see little bits. Um, if you look carefully at this one you'll find that there's a placement dot up here and a placement dot down there and these are put in there just solely for um, the sizing and so that they don't misalign in size. Now if I click this and I go over here you'll find that this piece has got three parts to it. This is the back of the card. This is the, um, it's, it says cut, but there's nothing there. And these are the little cuts that are the placement lines for when you put the little piece on the front. Now, if you come down to the second one, you'll see it highlights this middle piece. And if we go over here now, we can go down to score. Now it's changed that to a scoring line. And one of the things we now have to do is we now have to make all those together and we have to attach them. So 
if you take it through you'll find that they're not all attached now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the top one I'm going to put my finger on control and then I'm going to hit score and cut and I'm going to come down and attach now before um, they weren't attached but they do all come in together so that's really handy so I'm now going to put this one up the top there and show you the same sort of thing with this again you've got a little skirt here and a little placement thing here now the skirt the little top you can slice off there if you want to the easiest way of doing that of course is to um, go to um, contour or to just slice it off um, either way you'll find that because these uh, part and parcel you'll have to ungroup it now if you ungroup it it's not that we grouped it but it was grouped when it came in so you can now no, all we did was manage to ungroup the score lines and that wasn't a great thing to do was it because now we've got to make sure the score lines are back in the right place oh dear we're well out of place so what we do is we go to undo anything with undo in it is a wonderful thing now this is not going to let us do from this point we would have to go contour and in contour we would be able to take out this little piece and do that and then we could come back and take out the other piece if we wanted to so if we wanted to do that we can but today I'm not going to do that I'm going to um, leave those two pieces there um, attached I'm going to take the score lines and I'm going to instead of cutting them which I have done in the past we're going to choose score and you'll see they'll all change to score lines and then again I'm going to highlight them and with design space you don't have to highlight every single thing from the outside once you've got the corner of whatever you want it will pick it up then we'll go attach and again it's nicely attached and it will be the right size now the envelope is the next thing we're going to do um, it's come in grouped and we're just going to go again there and score and I'm going to put my finger on control and go um, on the selection and I will attach it now all those pieces now this is an envelope piece and so is this and so is this these are the little pieces that go on the top and bottom of here and you can see all these pieces are nicely done and they're nicely sized and if I put this purple bit over the top of the I'll just bring it to the front here over the top of there you will see that this is a layer and because we've resized it relatively the layer will sit on there quite nicely and we will have our um, five and three quarter by four and an eight card now I'll just take it through I can't go all the way through it because I don't have my machine in here but if we go through to the card you'll find whoops yes I forgot to stop the print and cut so that's going to be there but as you see it's just a little one so we can do that and when we go through yes all our score lines yes they do pop out the top and sometimes the bottom but it's handy to know that that's where they are and it doesn't damage too much of your extra paper to, to do them like that so that's all there and if we come down to the skirt you can see the skirt's got its score lines in there too and they're all attached and that's the easy way of going through and making your things a relative size and downsizing them now you can make them smaller when you're making things smaller just be a little bit careful because if you're going to make your card three by two um, some cards will make that really easy to do and some cards won't be so easy to do but that's making things smaller than what they than the size they come in at although I made this card at the original size today and it is a lovely size 
but of course it costs much more to send so if you're sending it um, maybe you add it to your parcel which is what we did and the other thing is you can if you resize it you could put it in an ordinary envelope instead of making your own but of course it's quite nice to still make your own envelope um, which I find is really great if you find a book of those um, papers and it's just paper it's coloured on one side and it's plain on the outside or plain on the other or white and those make lovely um, papers for envelopes and you've got a pretty colour on the inside and people just notice the colour they don't always notice what's on it but they do notice that you've used and made your own envelope but as I say be careful with um, putting the colour on the outside because if the machines can't pick it up and read it then they won't get in the post so by using those free packets that um, sometimes you can get on special for about 10 bucks for a whole heap of papers because they are just paper um, but they're coloured on one side you can have your pretty envelopes and this little piece here tucks into the envelopes under here so hope that helps with your um, sizing of things and also your changing things with design space you will see that when I went to the line type I've got maker um, selected and because I've got that I have the extra tools as well here now which um, anyone with the maker um, will have access to um, but if you select the uh, explore family that will just automatically change them until you've just got the three of them so that's another little bit of information for you. Well, thank you very much for watching and I hope you've learned something.